Hello YouTube. Uh, Dwarf Fortress? I thought so. I mean, you saw the title of the video. Although that technically doesn't contain any text that says Dwarf Fortress. That'd be the thumbnail. But hey, I know why you're here. You know why you're here. Let's not sit around here beating about the bush. Let's just fuck. Um, or, well, not literally. You know what I mean. Let's, let's just do some Dwarf Fortress. Let's not make this awkward. For fuck's sake, come on. It's you who's being weird about it, not me. Um, anyway, uh, let's have a look around the fortress, shall we? Uh, we got um, uh, we got a, a trade depot here, which I traded at last time. I think all the people in there are alive, so they're not going to be abandoning all their gear, which is fine. They had a load of old shit. Anyway, uh, we've got some cage traps there. They're the green ones. The, we the weapon traps in front in red, they contain spikes, I think. Yeah, I think they contain spikes, don't they? Copper spikes, very nice. Uh, these over here are upright spike traps, and uh, they're going to be attached to levers, and then someone will be sitting there pulling it backwards and forwards constantly, and anybody walking over it runs the risk of being skewered uh, cannibal holocaust style, <laughs> right up the pooper, which would be nice uh, for the goblins and potentially elves that turn up. I mean, it would be nice if it happened to elves, but I think odds are it's going to be goblins. Never mind. Second best, I suppose. Um, let's have a little look here. Up here we've got a barracks. That's very nice, isn't it? Lovely place for our soldiers to train. Not that we've given them the required weapons for them to actually skill up in the weapon skills they have, so I'm going to have to do something about that this session. Got stockpiles for the weapons, that's for sure. Just haven't assigned them in their, oops, as in their uh, military screens. We'll do that later on. This, of course, this oily little sex pit is uh, our wrestling arena, where all of our... Uh, very semi-clad um, dwarves will be gripping each other and trying to fling themselves around just in preparation for doing the same with our enemies. You know, it's good, isn't it? Uh, where were we? Uh, I was about to call it homoerotic, and then I realised this is a this is a 2020 Dwarf Fortress wrestling gym. This is mixed gender. Any, anyone can come in, so, you know, it's just erotic. There's no, there's no homo, bro. <laughs> it's just the way things are. What am I talking about? Let's back off from that. Uh, furniture stockpiles and weapon stockpiles. These are for spike balls and actual spikes, I think. Mainly to do with the traps. The spike balls, of course, are going to be traded, but you knew that. You knew that. Uh, our miners appear to be congregating in the main hallway. Don't know why that is. They're probably running outside to do something stupid, but we'll try and nip that in the bud as soon as we can. This fully smoothed room here, this belongs to our king. Needs a bit more furniture to bring it up to royal par, but uh, otherwise... He's reasonably pleased with it. Can't remember what I was going to do with this room. I think I was going to make separate bedrooms, uh, throne rooms, etc, etc. And then I decided just to do something different with this room. Is it a zone? It's not a zone. Uh, these are offices, uh, currently for the bookkeeper and manager, I believe. Look at that. Oh, my belief has been vindicated. Amazing. Wow. I don't get that with any of the religions. Um... What have we got here? Uh, this is a little tomb, a mausoleum type tomb, nowhere near fancy enough for a king, even though every wall has been engraved. Should we have a little peek at what kind of engravings it's got? Let's have a little peek at what kind of engravings it's got. Engraved on the wall is a superiorly designed image of crown, sorry, a crown, by Abol Mathakatmud. Mm, the season of deer. Doesn't seem to have any relation to what they've actually drawn, but that's okay. Over here we've got our uh, farmer's trade hall, guild hall, whatever you want to call it. There seems to be a lot of people in there, and I restricted it, I think, to only be for guild members. So I don't think we have enough farmers for that many people to be in there, so we'll have to check that out. Of course there's our farm. Small, but, you know, it does the job. It pumps out plump helmets like you wouldn't believe. Let's go down the floor. What have we got here? This is our industrial zone. Cue the crystal maze music. Pictures of Richard, what's his name? Spin through my mind. Richard Iowadi? No, the other one. The bald one. You know him. Mumsy. O'Brien. That's the one. Just trying to, just, just logging a little Photoshop job in the old cerebellum there. In the old hippocampus. I believe that's where the old memories go. I said old a lot there, didn't I? Uh, so, yes, sorry, uh, this is a Crafts Dwarf Guild workshop, guild workshop, no, it's just a guild. Uh, over here we've got some stockpiles, this is all the input stuff for these things. This is the, let's call it the Alley of 
forgotten workshops. Every time a mood happens and I don't know why the guy's not going to the particular workshop, I whack a new workshop in here. It's very rarely the actual one I needed, but uh, we've ended up with quite a supply. Got a Siege Engines workshop. One of these is a Loom. I think it's that one. Clothier's workshop and a Leatherworker's workshop. It is a Leatherworks. And down here, of course, we've got the stockpiles for cloth and leather, blah, blah, blah. Jewelers, mechanics, two craft dwarf workshops. Just the one. Just the one. Two masons workshops. And here we've got a, a carpenter's workshop. Very good. Uh, and then in here, supplied with all the magma it could possibly need by our local volcano, we've got four, five, sorry, uh, magma forges and one, two, three, four, five lovely magma smelters, which of course at the moment are doing the somewhat morally grey activity of steel duping through the mechanism of creating metal spikes, menacing steel spikes, and having them immediately melted down for slightly more steel than went into making them. I know, technically we have the materials to make steel on this map, or we could trade for them, but frankly, I've started doing, using DF hack recently and uh, all the power and hacks have gone to my head and now there are no rules. Up is down. Cats are no, playing with dogs. Cats are having sex with dogs. We've got dog kittens. Pup puppins. Kitties. Very unsatisfying portmanteau is uh, puppy and kitten. Don't like it. But um, Anyway, where were we? Uh, yeah, and that little uh, room over here, this is a metal workers workshop. I hear the tippy taps in chat. I will be looking in a minute. Let me just get this. Uh, let me just get this introductory tour out of the way. Even though this is in no way anything like an introduction, because everybody here has seen this fort before. I know what's going on. And if you're starting the playlist at this point on the YouTube list, then oh, good for you, you fucking madman. You do you. Let's go down. Uh, what have we got here? As the uh, no, no, don't go there. Um, we've got a graveyard. Lovely. Wow. Just the perfect place to be when I come up with smut. We've got a little uh, layer of bedrooms here. None of these has actually been designated as bedrooms, but we're starting the process of putting in beds and doors. And you know what? Let's put a few more doors in. Let's get crazy, see if there's any doors before we unpause things. Doors before unpause. Ooh, nice. Rhymes. It's good. I like it. It's giving me a happy feeling tingly feeling. I could also assign all of these as rooms now in one fell swoop. This bottom row's all doored and bedded. This row's partially doored and bedded. I mean, it's fully bedded, but partially doored. No? Yes, that's the correct way to round. Uh, but we'll do that later. We'll do that later once we've done the tour, then when I've had a little look at chat. Is there anything else on this floor that's worth noting? No. Other than the bedrooms, it's pretty boring. Well, bedrooms are boring unless you're doing something fun in there. Hey, eh? Am I right, chat? Um, or I, let's not go into the panoply of options there. Um, what have we got here? It's a hospital. Oh, a bad place to end up. But I have, if you note, have enough equipment there for an entire squad of dwarves to be injured. So that's nice. I mean, it's very unlikely. There are probably going to be several dead ones in that mix. But, you know, we tried. We gave them the facilities. It's not like they weren't, you know, looked after or given the correct equipment. Um, actually, that's not true. There's no soap in there. It's a dirty hospital. But hey, soap can come another time. Uh, this is our dining hall. Very boring, very bland, not even smoothed. But it'll do for now. It'll do for now. Over here, we've got some lovely scrotum birds. Of course, my word for turkey. Uh, they're not set up properly at the moment. They're just sitting in here. We'll probably end up with loads of fertilised eggs and chicks. But you mind, mark my words. Once I figure out how to use DF hack to make them do what I want them to do, they'll do what I want them to do, and we'll have eggs and babies. It'll be beautiful. Uh, what have we got here? Animal stockpile. Nice. I think it's just a store pile, storeroom for cages at the moment. We've got Tanner's shop. We've got uh, a butcher's shop. Oh my god, this chat has been so busy. I'll be with you in a minute, I promise. Um, we've got a couple of stills, uh, a kitchen, and a farmer's workshop. Very exciting. This is a food stockpile. Lovely, big, so swole. Epic, what a unit. Uh, and that's it, that's the bottom layer of our fortress. So it is quite small still. There really isn't much in the way of activity happening. Why are my uh, hotkeys not working? Excuse me, thank you. There we go, back to the surface. Right, let's have a little look at chat. Let's see what's going on in chat before I unpause the game. Uh, da -da -bum -bum, where was I before? <clears throat> Tidy says demonetized. I mean, I'd have to be remonetized first before I can be demonetized again. So, uh, 
It's all good. Salford Cell says, I'm of the opinion the IRL uh, is where you go to pretend to be somebody else, to put on a front, to have a professional image. Online is where you go to be yourself. If only I were capable enough to put on a front in my general everyday life. Unfortunately, there is a reason I'm unemployed at the moment. <laughs> and uh, you're watching it. No, I mean, not this did not cause. I just... There is not a whole heap... I'm just, I don't pause for other people to talk to me while I'm streaming. That's pretty much the only difference, you know. Uh, where were we? Um, if you do coins, it's a 50 times conversion rate. Excuse me? So you're saying if I s smelt steel coins, they produce 50 times more steel than is put in. Could you confirm in chat, Berg and Durf? Because if that's the case, what the fuck am I doing with menacing spikes? Uh, the BBC had a flat in my old apartment. Block, block. That's a good, that's a good... <laughs> Sorry, I thought you had a flat in your apartment, which seems very weird. It seems inside out, really. Um, in my old apartment block, where they sometimes housed celebrities. I met Richard O'Brien in the lift once. Salford Sal, amazing. That's, uh, that's interesting. Lovely Richard O'Brien. I mean... What a lad. Uh, if people don't know who Richard O'Brien is, he was the original, the OG host of... Uh, look at that, I made hand signals as well. Uh, the OG host of Crystal Maze, a UK game show with terrible prizes, but they spent all the money on the sets, I think. Um, what else uh, was he in? I mean, he wrote Rocky Horror Picture Show, didn't he? So, I mean, a lot of people had heard of him from that. I don't know how big... I don't know how big Rocky Horror is with the kids these days. I think it was quite... It was getting a retro revival when I was like, hearing about it in my teenage years, so... Fuck knows. Also, there's no kids watching. I don't think... Is anybody here still a teenager? I highly doubt that. I think people... Who, the teenagers just zoom on by. They see this... They look at me and go, What is this Dwarf Fortress bullshit? Fuck you. Get out of here. Ooh. Oh, wait. I've got to get out of here. Yeah, where are you? Oh, I tell you... I tell a, I tell a lie. Dragon Meyer, uh, Z F Dragon Myers for the win, I think that's what it means, is in fact a teenager. Almost 18. Well, that's good. That's good, at least I know I have a broader demographic appeal than I thought. I can be chuffed about that. Uh, although that is lower down the chat, I need to catch up. What did Ocelot say? Damn, I missed it. I like to be first. No, don't restrain yourself. If you smooth your shit out, shirt out more, dwarves will immigrate. Oh, in that case. There we go. Smooth my shirt out just a little bit more. Boom. It's an Evil Dead and a Doom shirt. It's my current favourite. It's amazing. Uh, where were we? Uh, Ocelot has a little link. Melt item, Dwarf Fortress wiki. Coins, stack of 500. 1.1, 11.1, 110 percent. You need to separate them to 500 stacks containing one coin each. Easiest way to do it is in the trade depot. Oh. I saw it when I was younger, says Bergendorf. Uh, Rocky Horror, sure. I, I get it, I get it. Uh, I watched you when I was 19. Does that count? Uh, I suppose so. D depends how long ago it was and if you were doing that through the medium of time travel. Of course, if you were time travelling then... Actually, no, that still counts. As long as chronologically in your own timeline you've been around for 19 years, that definitely counts. 19-year-olds are definitely teenagers. At least under any assessment that I would care to take on. Take on? Undertake? Undertake. Yeah, that would be the better thing. Although I can't imagine a scenario in which it is my current task to uh, determine whether or not people are teenagers. I don't think I'd be interested in that job. Very boring. Very dull. Are you a teenager? Yes. Oh, good. Are you a teenager? Yes. Good. Are you a teenager? Yes. No, you're not. You're way older than a teenager. I've got that aging disease. No, you haven't. You're creepy. Get out of here. Oh, I suppose there are scenarios where people need to do it. <clears throat> well, need is a strong word. I mean... Surely, once you get to like 18, 19, you should be getting to the point where you're policing yourself, right? Or maybe I'm being optimistic. What am I even talking about? It's a bad sign when I start looking at the camera. If that happens, with all hope is lost. I'll just, I'll just get chat over with, and then we'll go back to the, back to the game. Um, retro when I was at college in the 90s. Yeah, I wasn't quite at college in the 90s. I was, in, I did go to second, like sixth form. Like, the, basically, they just tack another year on the end of school and call it... They won't call it a college, so they call it a sixth form. But that was, like, what, 98? I think I left school in... No. Yeah, 97, 98 would have been the years I left school. 
very easy to calculate my age, born in 1980, so I only ever have to sort of shift a couple of decades into the new millennium, so just add to the current year. It's great. Uh, where were we? Uh, <laughs> DF is fun, but too much for my PC to handle. By the way, I don't care about swearing. Well, <laughs> you've come to the right place. Well, maybe not. Who knows? Because uh, there is uh, always a very... Well, I say a very small chance. There's always a non-zero chance that I'll say something like cunt and upset some people. It's good. It's good. It certainly means I'll never get any brand deals. Then again, who knows? Maybe there are people who would like that. I could get like a... What companies should I approach for a brand deal who would not be worried about my use of stronger language? I'll have to think about it. Although, why would they do that for uh, like 30 people? I don't know. Is it 30? Not even 30. 16 people. Half of what I thought. I'm bigging myself up too much. Mind you, I suppose that's what they do in the advertising game. Uh, snap, I was an 80s kid too. Tacoma Games, Bergendorf, indeed. Tacoma Games, for all your um, Washington State role-playing needs. Um, where was I? I was playing the game. That's it. Let's get back into the game and stop this inane that babble. Uh, what time is it? It's We've been live for half an hour and recording for 16 minutes. It's time to unpause the game and see what happens. Although, having said that, I am immediately going to go down to the bedroom floor and I'm going to start designating bedrooms. Oh, someone's found a dead pig. Of course they have. What's all this red question mark madness about? Where are you going? Why are you collecting doors? Hello? The red question marks have finished. Okay, that little sea of red question marks confused me for a moment, but we're going down to the bedroom floor, and we're going to start designating these as actual bedrooms so dwarves can start claiming them. Have you seen the bedroom man, the bedroom man, the bedroom man? Have you seen the bedroom man? He's breaking the law. No, let's not go there. Stop it. Stop it, scoundrel. No sex crime jokes tonight. Going to be a good boy, aren't you? Going to be a nice lad. Be the kind of person that somebody's not going to be afraid to uh, have their parent, significant other, or child walk in. No, no, don't bring your children into the room. Not like that. I mean, don't, don't, no. I mean, it's just inappropriate language. You pervert. Why did you go to that straight away? Disgusting. Anyway, we've nearly got the bedrooms done. There's only like, what, a hundred or so in this room? Probably more. No, I think I definitely did more than 200. My intention was to create enough bedrooms to start with so that we could uh, have every single dwarf in their own 3x4 bedroom. Or bigger, should they happen to demand it. Having said that, we may enter a state of noble purging at some point, you know? I feel like I may be a little bit against that kind of bullshit and uh, we might have to send some of them through some sort of execution process. Whether they're thrown into the volcano, smushed under a giant door thing, I don't know, we'll, we'll think about it. We'll come up with ways to do it. If it becomes necessary, maybe they won't piss me off. Maybe they will remain just an amusing anachronism. But we'll see. We shall see. Looks like a lot of the trade stuff's being moved from the depot. But 30 odd dwarves are not bothered with doing that. Why? That is the question. Why is that? Hmm. Companies that make products that aren't meant for children. Well, I, I initially, when I said the word cunt, I thought, ah, maybe some kind of um, soothing vaginal cream. Vaginal, vaginal. You say vagina, I say vagina. Let's call the whole thing off. Um, that's not how it goes, is it? Um, but yeah, no, they may have gone, is your fanny burning? Of course, this is English, because a fanny is a lady's front bottom uh, in England, whereas in America, it's just any generic buttocks. So yeah, um, is your vagina burning? Get some cunt cream. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure. I think maybe, maybe as advertising standards loosen in the future, we will see my advertising style take hold. But I, for now, I don't think it's going to be a big seller. I certainly don't think anybody's going to be uh, taking their vaginal salve to market through the medium of my Twitch channel. Seems odd. I'm guessing, I mean, I may be wrong, but I'm guessing there's a somewhat male bias to the viewership. Not not a huge amount, not like not like 110%, because that would be way more than a bias. That would be a literal, like, more than the people that are watching. But, you know, I don't think it's like 99%, but I reckon we're... 
in the 75th, 75th percentile here. 75th percentiles are bewillied, if you will. Uh, where are we? <clears throat> Nest boxes is the command to preserve fertile eggs. Okay. Let's do that. I'm going to go straight into DF hack right now and type in M E S T B O X E S. Nest boxes. Plugin disabled. Okay, let's re enable that. Nest boxes. Plugin disabled. Nest boxes. Okay, the plugin is disabled. We can't do that. Uh, we've got a KV pup starving, a starving lamb, a goat kid, an alpaca. Well, if you bring a grazing pet to this fortress, more fool you. Look outside here. It's all mud. There's fuck all grass. What are you going to feed your pet? This is just a bad decision. This is like those people who have giant dogs in a tiny flat. Oh, I just love my St. Bernard. That's why I keep him in this little cupboard. Fucking idiots. Uh, where were we? Uh, TKR's come into chat and said howdy. Howdy to you too. Welcome back, TKR. Thanks for joining us again. Don't worry, I don't have any children to bring in. Well, at 18, I would not expect you to have children to bring in, young person. I cannot determine your gender from that name. But, you know, you uh, you, you be careful out there. You <clears throat> rubber up or um, other other things are available. What's it called? You, um, contraceptives. Other contraceptives are available. <laughs> and, you know, don't have to do one. You can do both. If you want, you can put two condoms on. It's entirely possible. It may be counterproductive, I'm not sure. I feel like there, there might be some weird physics equation that would explain how that would result in both of them unrolling. But, or re-rolling? Re-rolling. We'll go with re-rolling. Anyway, uh, that's not relevant. Uh, where are we going? Your metal crafter is getting upset since his masterwork steel spikes are being melted. Well, that's okay, Tidy. If he gets too upset and starts mucking around, we'll just fling him in the volcano and then he'll become one with the steel spikes, literally. Or will he? I think there's a lot of magma in that volcano. He'd probably be spread too thin, wouldn't he? There wouldn't be enough of him in the magma. It'd be too thinly spread out to actually claim that he was in any of the weapons. Still. Uh, whatever, don't don't rock the boat, steel worker, you little prick. Uh, just butcher them, then you can at least eat them. I can't, they're pets, unfortunately. Uh, if you'd have a look at the... Uh... There we go, the animal screen. The turkeys, fine, not causing any problems, they're great, but uh, obviously we don't want to butcher them because we can eat their eggs. But down here, look at this, ganders, roosters, gobblers. Why is someone taking one of these gobblers as a pet? That's not good. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, cats. We want the cats. That way we can uh, they'll eat all the pests. I see the JT experience has taken a couple of hens and a pig for a pet. Oh well. Never mind. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got a... Is that a piglet? Cow calf? I know they taste better, but you get more meat when they're grown up, so it seems a little bit of a shame to start slaughtering them so early. Horse foal. Why do people bring all these animals to the fortress? It's such a pain in the ass. Still, never mind. Uh, where were we? <clears throat> it seems we have a turkey hoarder. Quite possibly. Someone's going in there and taking them as pets. What a bastard. The only form of birth control that is 100% effective is abstinence. Don't put two on, Bergendorf. It sounds like there's some uh, there's some uh, <laughs> experience, some wisdom coming forth. <laughs> it feels like uh, you, you've uh, struck a nerve there. I mean, may maybe you're a, a professional in the field. Maybe you're some kind of uh, sex education specialist. I don't know. But uh, let's make the caveats clear. Take no advice on any subject from my stream whatsoever. Perhaps, maybe, and this is not a guarantee, but maybe if I suggest films and YouTube channels, give them a go. That might be nice. You might enjoy that. But if I've said anything to do with science, sex reality just take it with so much salt that if you actually consumed it it would kill you okay just just to be clear on the the nature of this stream do not expect facts thank you that is all i mean obviously not there's more i'm going to carry on playing but whatever <clears throat> uh wait you got one of each cat maybe geld or kill one no well, I, at the moment we, we only have the two, it's fine. And I would like them to breed so we always have some cats in the fortress. And, you know, gelding is all well and good, but personally, I think cats make excellent clothing and they probably taste all right. So, you know what? 
let's have them. Let's keep them. Let's not geld them. Uh, also, they can eat vermin and they won't start going, where's the grass? I want grass. So at the very worst case scenario, they make an excellent famine food. <clears throat> uh, where were we? Burgundorf has just heard that it's a bad time. Oh, okay. Heard. Somebody in your circle has uh, a story to tell. The gobblers are turkeys. That's right. They are scrotum birds. Uh, even if I wanted to put one on, I don't have anything to put it on. Well, um, I think we've either determined your uh, your sex or uh, that you have had a very tragic accident, which is, or maybe you were born that way. In which case, do I want to do I want to pitch that as a tragedy? I mean, obviously, if you're a, f a female, a lady, a woman, a, a I don't know, uh, a, a, a it's very difficult to come up off on the fly, off the cuff, with the uh, words for ladies uh, that, that don't immediately make you appear to be quite misogynistic. It's very difficult. So I think I'll probably just stop trying. That makes sense. That's a good idea. Let's look at chat. Excellent. Uh, there are female condoms as well. That's true. That's true. Um, but they've got a different... They're like um, uh, a vag bag. What are they called? They've got a... They had a funny name. Like um, a fanny sack? No. Mm -hmm. I remember them being called something other than than uh, female condoms. Still, those days are behind me. <laughs> I've got my children. I've had my testicles professionally decommissioned. So uh, it's all good from here on out, he says. Probably oversharing. Um, where was I? Uh, aren't they called cups? No, a cup is like a more structurally rigid object called a diaphragm which is like a sort of thing that just covers up the entryway to the i'm not a gynecologist let's call it the inner sanctum um and that's that's the sort of barrier that is used as i understand it again remember my caveat here don't take any of this as factual do your own research but i'm just sharing what i think i know which could be wrong um Female condoms are like bin bags. Ooh. Nuva ring or something stupid. Saying. I think that's a brand name. I think there is a... There's a... Excuse me. <laughs> uh, that sounded a lot worse than it was. I'm on a very small plastic seat with a hollow interior, so everything resonates far worse. Don't judge me, for Christ's sake. Oh, God, I'm going to have to judge myself. That was bad. Um... Where were we? Uh, I know people who still had kids even after the surgery, just for an FYI. Oh my goodness. Well, I shall be. Who am I kidding? I'm not going to be careful. I went through the process. I'm going to just, if it's not 100% effective, if it hasn't worked fully, then it's taking a long time to manifest. But also, I mean, I mean, I can't, I could not fucking bear it to, to, to live my life thinking I went through that and it might not have been effective there is a moment let's, I'm going to attempt not to be too graphic but there is a moment after the procedure where um, you see a situation that literally made my knees almost give out and uh, not in the way I was hoping they would you know I, you know it was bad it was I felt faint, uh, but you know, and for that to be for nothing, fuck that, fuck that. Uh, where was I? Uh, where are we? Uh, where are we? Let's try and get off this contraceptive. Run. How did I get here? Female condoms are, are hardcore. You have to really want to pause relations if you use one, or prepare in advance. I mean, maybe that would be get a bit. Nah, maybe not that. We'll see. Um. Let's keep going, keep going. Hello, everybody, Dragonfire. Hello. Hello, Dragonfire. Save us. Could you pull the lever to push the conversation down another track? That would be fantastic if you could. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, a relative of a friend of mine lost an ovary and still had a child with only one ovary. Well, that's doable. I can understand that. I mean, if I only had one testicle, I would still be, you know, and they were still connected. I would be, uh, I'd be concerned about the possibility of having a child. But, um, you know. Hopefully the doctor did both. Certainly felt like it. Certainly sm smelt like it when he did it back up again. Zzz, zzz, got a little burny thing. Um, 
Also, I have to say, this will make some amongst the audience shudder in horror, but uh, I can actually feel the detached elements moving in ways they never moved before and distinctly separate. So I think it's unlikely. But anyway, let's get off this. <laughs> let's get off of this. Yes. Uh, there wasn't any pus, Bergendorf. There wasn't, uh, there wasn't any pus. But, uh, let's, let's not, let's not go there. Uh, she was told she would probably never have a child. Was it a sort of like, hooray, or was it a kind of, ah, shit. Not that it's any, it's no business of mine. Why am I asking these deeply personal questions? Who someone, who, which you will be answering on behalf of someone who is not present to give consent. We could get done under the Data Protection Act. You be careful. Don't, don't get us sued. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, the Dwarven Mothers, this is good, we're back on track. Don't die from having children though. The child was a good thing. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. <clears throat> we're back in Dwarf Fortress. We're back in Dwarf Fortress territory. Now I look away from chat. And I've probably saved the channel for another another session. We're not going to get banned. Not this time. Not this time. Hopefully no one from Twitch is watching and going, Oh my God, what have we built here? What is this platform allowed to take place? Uh, we did all the bedrooms, didn't we? I think so. Let's unpause it and immediately go into the military screen. Let's have a Oh, a follow. Who's this? Oh, it's Dragon Myers for the win. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Um, where were we? Looking at the military screen. Now, we've got the Chasms of Guild. Do Excuse me. Uh, which one was the wrestling one? And which one? I think Druid's Mead specifically requested the creation of the wrestling one so he could be the leader of the wrestling squad. So I'm going to go to the Chasms of Gilding. Actually, there's an easy way to uh, there's an easy way to determine this. Let's go to therapist. Not like that. That's better. OBS, you little shit. Every time I start recording for you, dear YouTubers watching in the future, um, it makes the first transition between scenes after that into a circular clock face luma wipe, which is a perfectly good transition, don't get me wrong. But I spent quite a long time fiddling around trying to get these transitions to work. Practically two days on and off. <laughs> and, um, you know, now that it works, I like it to work. Christ, when it doesn't do it after pressing record, it really winds me up. Anyway, where were we? Um, uh, yes, definitely. Uh, I see a reaction in chat to my statement. Cra uh, <laughs> to people unhappy. Oh, well, what can you do? Uh, tell me about your practice with building planning mode. Yes, Dragonfire, Mordor Fortress stuff. I have not done any, actually. Probably tonight will be the t tonight's the night, maybe. Let's have a little look. Let's go to the military screen. Uh, the Chasms of Gilding is the non wrestling one. I was correct. <laughs> Good. So let's go in there and get them some weapons. First things first, I'm going to keep this open on the other screen. We're going to go back to Dwarf Fortress and we're going to decide what weapons to assign to which dwarves. Now, Dragon Slayer, currently the leader, has uh, level 6 in Mace Dwarf. So I'm thinking, probably, let's assign him a mace. Uh, let's go to Equipment, that's E. Mm, assign a weapon, that's a capital W, and then we'll go to hmm, maces. Let's go down there, maces. There we go. Ah, can I make him pick a steel mace? If it hasn't been built yet, then no. That could be a problem. Do they upgrade automatically if they find better weapons, or do they become attached to their initial choice? That's a question for chat. Does anyone know the answer there? I'm going to need to get some tissues to blow my nose. Excuse me. Ooh. Ah, the Christmas tissues finally run out. Damn. Oh, well. we'll come back to that later. I'll just have to sniff. There we go. <clears throat> Try and maintain the mucosal flow. Uh, where were we? Where were we? Well, I'm glad you fixed it. I'm drag you fixed drag. Glad you fixed it, Dragonmire. Much appreciated. Uh, where are we going? Uh, da -da -ba -da -ba -ba. It's fine to talk about people so long as there isn't enough information to identify an individual. I'm fairly well up on the Data Protection Act 2019. Ah, oh, well, I mean, 
are, are you a lawyer? <laughs> Just can, can we get free legal advice? I mean, obviously, we'd want to verify that if you say yes. But we'll see. We'll see. It could be interesting. Uh, has anyone watched the Legal Eagle channel on YouTube? I don't watch all of his videos, but some of them are quite interesting. Uh, he did a an analysis of uh, the law or the legal aspects of uh, Phoenix Wright, which was a bit of a dud in my eyes, actually, because, you know, that's a kind of parody of the Japanese legal system and he's an American lawyer. So, hmm. Although he did a lot of stuff about Better Call Saul. That was quite good. Anyway, there's a YouTube recommendation out the way. Let's have a quick look down here. Uh, they can, although they can become attached to a weapon. Uh, it's the top squad, the Fortress Guard. I don't know, Tidy. Probably. Okay, they can become attached to their initial choice. Okay, then let's go in and instead of saying any old mace, let's check. Let's check to see if he's actually got a steel mace around. Where have we got? Steel battle axe, spear, short sword, bismuth bronze battle axe, bronze battle axe, iron pick, plumwood training spear. There isn't even a mace. There is no mace. Okay, let's check our build queue. Is there an order for a mace? There is no spoon. Uh, first thing I thought when I saw that chard was there is no hair. Um... Forge silver mace. Oh, it wouldn't be a steel one anyway, would it? Can we put these up higher on the list of things to do? I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to set them to maximum priority. T! T! There we go. Let's get those built. Uh, but if we can't give him a weapon, maybe, just maybe, not Druid's Mead. Yes, Druid's Mead. No, Dragon Slayer. There we go. Uh, Fuzzy Logic, what weapon do you use? You're a Spear Dwarf. Definitely saw some uh, spears in there. So W, uh, specific weapon, steel spear. Boom, lovely. Uh, who's next? Oh shit, I just gave that to Fuck off. Right. Ugh. Fuzzy logic, there we go. Now, now we give fuzzy logic a weapon. Specific weapon, steel spear. Lovely. Next, Spookspurt, whatever your name is, what's that? Spaceship rat, of course. Uh, you're a hammer dwarf. I don't think we have any hammers. Do we have any hammers? No, we don't. Okay, so we're not doing you yet. Slot four available. Interesting. Okay. Um, maybe I need to add another dwarf in. We've got a few dwarves out there with some weapon skills, but none with anything higher than two. And what's Minkot good with? Minkot's also a maceman, so we don't actually have a weapon for him right now. Let's leave slot 4 empty just for a bit. Uh, what does Thicket do? What's your weapon of choice, sir? Or madam? Madam? The, the squad is mostly madam. Uh, they're a swords dwarf. Did we have a specific sword? We have a steel short sword. Kaboom! Congratulations. What about Meng? Meng the peasant. What weapon do you use habitually? An axe! Definitely have axes. I'm sure I saw an axe. W, specific weapon. Steel battle axe. Boom, you've got your weapon. What about Nish? Nish, Nish, Nish. What do you use, Nish? Nish. Nish is a level seven hammer dwarf. Oh my. Not that we have any hammers at the moment, but we'll get them built. We'll get them made. Rigoth, the next lad, uh, an axe dwarf. Do we have an axe for Rigoth? An axe for Rigoth. It sounds like um, it sounds like a title of a piece by Ennio Morricone for a sort of for a movie about a dwarf. That's a weird framing. We've got a bismuth bronze or a bronze battle axe. Which do I give him? Oh, let's give him the steel steel battle axe. Didn't see that one. What about Rigoth? Rigoth, Rigoth. Oh shit! I just gave that to Nish. Sorry, Nish. Uh, you're not getting that. This lad's getting that. Uh, who's next? We've got another Mace Dwarf and then Vabok the Spear Dwarf. Well, Vabok, you are in luck. We have a proper weapon for you. There we go, Steel Spear. I'm assuming the three lines is better than the one line, so you can have that one. Fantastic. Now, I don't think we've actually made any proper armour. Look at them go to the box. I saw them do it. Presumably, they are training properly now. We shall see. We shall see. Right, let's have a quick look at chat. <laughs> you can tell them to have a steel mace, even if you don't have one, they won't upgrade if they become attached. Okay. Uh, Salford Sal holds up bridges. 
Not sure about the context on that one, but uh, sure. Sorry, I thought something changed on the screen. Uh, I think the Fortress Guard hand out beatings, so might not be great to give them weapons. I think I can make someone specifically a hammerer <clears throat> for that job, and then hopefully we'll give them a nice little wiffle waffle hammer so they don't kill anybody. Maybe just a wooden meat tenderizer or something. I'm qualified in company not law, but not a qualified lawyer. Uh, it's true, I used to hold up the bridges in Manchester. I was made redundant earlier this month. Mm, that's, I remember you saying, yes, actually, yes, you've got yourself a little bit of a... A little bit of a payout as well, so you can uh, spend a little bit more time streaming. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, what's the unique item? Silver will hammers. Yes, we got those on the go, uh, Dragonfire. They're on their way. Uh, so was there a unique item mentioned? Did I miss something? I think I did. Doesn't matter, though, because uh, I'm about to uh, just bring the tone down a little bit. Oh, there we go. You know what that is? I mean, obviously, it's a fart. But you know what's caused it? Oh, God. Chewing gum. Chewing gum. I uh, I made the mistake. I've abandoned the use of nicotine gum, and I think for the for the better. I decided just as a kind of a habit breaker, while I'm, while I'm quitting, uh, I'd just get regular chewing gum. Uh, and I'd chew that. No. Not happening anymore. Chewing gum makes me fart unbelievably. Mind you, I've also eaten practically an entire roll of refreshers, which are a very fizzy sweet, so that could be affecting things as well. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it'll die down before the end of the stream and I won't have to uh, go through with noise suppression. Then again, why would I do that? I've been talking about it, so it makes no sense to... Uh, it makes no sense to... A little cautious sniff there, just to check the air's clear. Um, it makes no sense to cut the sounds out. Because, you know, anyone who's going to be offended by the sound of a fart is going to be deeply upset by me discussing a fart. So, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Actually, no, you're just damned. Just damned, why muck about? Uh, where are we? Oh, I know what I'm listening to. My favourite Simon Swerwer track of all time. That I've heard, obviously. He may have made better ones, I've just not heard them. Uh, let's have a look at the steel stockpile, shall we? Probably a good time to check that out, because they should be going up. Uh, bars? Bars. Steel bars. 51. Mm, it's rising. Not as fast as I would like, but it is rising. That's the key thing to remember here. One day when that's patched out, I'm going to be dead sad, because I'm going to really wish that I'd started exploiting it sooner. Much sooner. Ah, well. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe I should start mining for other materials, but the fact that we now can sort of just grind out steel kind of makes it a bit redundant. Then again, we could always decorate stuff, couldn't we? <clears throat> we could always make decorations of a sort. Ah, what are we waiting for? What's my next move? I mean, realistically, once we've got a bit more steel, <clears throat> I think the next move is to be kitting out our soldiers in full steel armour. But again, that feels like it's going to take some time. Well, there's a lot of action going on here. We're at 88, 89 frames a second, and I'm seeing a lot of back and forth through the workshop, so perhaps, perhaps we are actually getting there quicker than I thought. Let's check again. It was 50-something, wasn't it? Oops, sorry. Uh, Z stocks, that's bars, 57. Okay. 57. I'm seeing lots of melting going on in the lower smeltery. People carrying bars? Hmm. Okay. Actually, this um, we might be able, at this point, to uh, use copper spikes again. Oh no, they always show up in the thing, even if they're in a trap, don't they? Trap components, spike copper balls, yeah, 591. Ah, damn. I think I've stopped production on them as well, haven't I? So we won't be getting... not balls, spikes. So we won't be getting any more copper spikes to go in the traps. Then again, <clears throat> it makes a lot of sense to start hooking them up as well, because uh, we definitely haven't got that sorted properly. Let's go down to the dining hall. This is the lever for the trap, right? Yes. Add a new task, and we want to link to... Fuck off. Add a new task, link to uh, upright spears and spikes, capital S. There we go. Link to that one. Add capital S. Hopefully it removes them from the list when they're done. Hmm? 
There's nothing that can be linked up. Really? There we go. It does move. It, it does shrink the list. It's good. It's good. We just need more mechanisms to be done, and then we can start uh, hooking up more spikes. And then hopefully we'll be seeing some uh, perforated poopers in the goblin intruders. Hmm. Doesn't quite rhyme. Pseudo rhymes. What have we got here? Demon Blast. Hello. How's the fort? He says. Well, pretty good. Pretty good, I would say. Pretty good. So far. I mean, we're maybe you could do with a bit more food. We could probably. Uh, we could probably get things a little bit more militarily secure, but it's doing okay. It's doing okay. Will you be sending your dwarves out to destroy the surrounding goblins slash evil things? Yes, um, but once they're good enough, uh, which may not happen, but we'll see. We shall see. We shall see. Uh, -bum -bum. Right. Just waiting for the mechanism stockpile to re refill. 27 idlers. We could... Probably stick in another... What the fuck is... Oh, it's Falling Blossom. Don't panic, everybody. It's not Blood Rain. It's just Falling Blossom. It's fine. The trees are all fruit trees. They have blossom on them. It falls. It's just the way things are. If only the grazers could eat blossom. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Blossom, of course, not the uh, TV show Blossom, which was uh, a 90s hit, I believe, with De Youth, uh, of which I was one at the time, even though it uh, didn't really appeal to me. Not really my oeuvre. Um, oeuvre? That would be something I did. Obviously not my oeuvre. Not really my milieu. Let's say that. Let's use that French word instead. Is oeuvre a French word? Time to hit Google. Let's give it a look. Let's have a look. I believe it's spelt O-U-V-R-E. That tell me, Google. Translation of ouvrir? Opens? Ooh. Opens. I think I may have... Uh... Okay, I'm using the wrong word. Interesting. Oh well, never mind. Live and learn, eh? Live and learn. Hello, Ocelot. Welcome back. And uh, what's this? Good evening... Akebeards, add a map to the map notes to the levers. You can even have them in pretty colours. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. Hello, Druid's Mead. Welcome back to the stream. Let's actually add a note to that one so we can know it's the spike lever. Uh, control N. There we go. That's what we want. Uh, the one by the well is obviously for floodgates, so let's not label that one. He says actually slightly concerned that it will cause confusion down the line but no that's a problem for future scoundrel should the fort even last that long what's this they're taking out oh it's step ladders isn't it i wonder how our drink stockpile's looking now let's have a little look at the food uh drinks ouch not looking good not looking good at all although we do have apricots you know what I'm going to turn off cooking with apricots. I'm going to turn off cooking with bilberries. Uh, can we brew with cabbages? No, we cannot. Uh, what about these? What's this? Garlic bulbs. No, you can only cook. <laughs> you can only cook garlic. Of course, you can only cook with garlic. Although I bet there's a video on YouTube that proves otherwise. I've made garlic drink. Oh, it's going to be really disgusting, but I've made it. Uh, onions. Surely you could turn onions into some form of alcohol, right? Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Onion wine. Ooh, lovely. Uh, let's stop cooking with peaches. No more peach pie. Pears. Make a nice little bit of perry. A little bit of perry. Uh, plum helmets. Plums. Ooh, no, sir. No one's cooking my plums. Only for drinking. Um, purple amaranth. I don't know what that is. Raspberries. Nah. Ratweed. Red spinach, sand pears. Yeah, let's brew those. Sand pear booze. Lovely. Strawberries. Strawberry wine. There we go. I've made a little bit of a, a little bit of a change to policy there. Hopefully, we'll end up with some uh, proper brewing. No storage item. Okay, we need some pots. That's fine. I've got an idea that will sort that out. Let's go down to the industrial zone uh, and create first a stockpile for pots. 
which I believe are in the furniture category. He says with all the confidence of a what the fucking hell have I done? P uh, uh, X, there we go. Jesus Christ, scoundrel, come on. What are you doing here? You made this enormous great big stockpile, that's no good. Um Furniture, there we go. Furniture stockpile. Keep ten rock pots in stock. That's my plan. Change set no. What do I do? Press A. We'll take from anywhere, there we go. Whew. Um S. There we go. Down to furniture. Type, remove, forbid all those, and we'll find pots. Pots, pots, pots. Hmm. Okay, maybe they're finished goods. Oh no, large pots, food storage. There we go, bang. Okay, and then once that storage is there, we go here and I say, I would like to add a new task. I would like to add a new task. Could you please give me some pots? Tell me it's not a Crafts Dwarf workshop. It's a Crafts Dwarf's workshop. Excellent. So I put that stockpile in the wrong place. Yeah, baby. Um, let's get rid of it then. Boo. There we go. And I'll just start making fucking rock pots and then we'll put the workshop down. Whatever. Uh, add a rock. Yeah. Pots. Sure. Repeat. Definitely. Uh, and I would also like to add a constraint made of any rock. And yeah, that seems good. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then I'll put my little stockpile in. Little furniture stockpile, as one does. There's a little sound for you there, a little noise. A little thing that I do every now and again when I push the buttons. I just start making weird noises. Where is it? Rocks, pots, large pots, food storage, bang, there we go, bingo, bongo, bango. We should now end up with them being able to brew, because there'll always be a little stockpile of ten rock pots sitting there, ready to be done. What have we got in this, st I saw something in here. Has this thing got like a... Sox, Shandamal, and Mo it's got two named items in, what the fuck are these? Phrase confuses the rivers of vegetating. I remember this one from last time. I don't remember what it was. Diorite scepter. Nah. And what about this one? Obsidian earring. Nah, boring. I mean, we could put down a lovely display stand, couldn't we? Let's do that. Let's order up a display stand. Uh, no? It's only armor stands. How about display then? Display case, sure. Uh, how many do I want? <laughs> Two, just for those items, really. That'll do. And then we can bosh those down in the king's bedroom. And that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Be lovely. Don't cook any brewable items. Brewing gives seeds. Cooking does not. Ah. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, ouvre la fenêtre, Nicole. La chat has chat. Oh, very good. Open the window, Nicole. The cat has pooped. Uh, don't cook any brewable items. Read that already. You theoretically could, but I don't think your dwarves could drink onion wine. Mm, no, no, maybe. They drink all sorts of shit. I mean, they're willing to buy barrels of tediously milked bumblebee venom. I'm sure they're going to be open to drinking weird stuff. They can use pots instead of barrels. They can. They can. I, or at least I hope they can. <laughs> that would be a problem if they can't. Uh, trying to play Mordhal to blow off some steam while listening to the stream. I end up getting fumed up and angry and disappointed with myself. Ah, is Mordhal that um, mountain blade type affair? That sort of swords and swords and fighting game. Swords and fighting. That's my weird little interpretation of the genre. Oh, let's have a little sip of water here. Okay, I'm not seeing any rock pots getting created. Slightly disappointing. Oh, the, this is diorite armor stand and a marble armor stand. How many has the old uh, king got in his bedroom? Can we just whack a couple of them down there to get him out of the get him out of the workshop? We could put armor stands in for these lads, can't we? Let's do that. B, 
enter. There we go. We'll just give one armor stand for each lad. They don't need a weapon rack because wrestlers don't use weapons. That's not how wrestling works, unless you count the body as a weapon, which is a bit of a weird thing to say, isn't it? As people start telling you their body's a weapon, you're like, oh, okay, don't talk to me anymore. <laughs> what? Why? Why have you done this? Uh, let's keep going. Get those armor stands in. Come on. Lovely. Another one. Good. And one more. Look at that. Perfect. We had just ten knocking around. Easy. Easy. Okay. I wonder if we've got enough mechanisms now to do the levers as well. Uh, I don't see any mechanisms in the stockpile. So we probably don't have enough. Excuse me. We probably also don't have those, excuse me, weapons either. Kingdom Come for free on Epic, but the 53 gigabyte download at their reduced bandwidth is not appealing. I got it as well, and I have uh, downloaded it already <laughs> and installed it. I got ahead of myself. Now that I've got an account, I'm just automatically getting all the free games. There was like um, one of the Assassin's Creed's is free this uh, this week, which is kind of cool, but it does require logging into Uplay, which... Uh, please, come on. Come on. What are you talking about? <clears throat> I uh, I treated me and Kel. This is probably going to make some people roll their eyes because these these are controversial games at best. Uh, I bought a Detroit Become Human on the Epic Game Store because me and Kel have enjoyed playing all of David Cage's previous games. And uh, frankly, uh, I'm not afraid to admit, I'm enjoying it. I like it. So there. <laughs> um, it includes the Deliverance DLC. I got the Assassin's Creed today, probably never going to play it, but it's there. Same. Same. I mean, when am I going to... I mean, it's a bit of a pivot, isn't it, for me to go, well, I'm playing Dwarf Fortress today, but tomorrow, come watch me stream Assassin's Creed. They're so similar. Let's 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 not be worried about that jarring change. Isn't Send in London? Isn't it Send in London? Set, uh, set in London. Yes, yes, it is set in London. <laughs> it is set in London. In uh, Not Victorian London, even pre-Victorian London. 17th century London, I believe. Do love a good tricorn hat, though. That's a good point. I do love a good tricorn. What was that? And I'm sure we've had this come up in the stream before. There was a, a martial arts film about werewolves I think set in the French Revolution and there was lots of fighting with quarterstaffs in tricorn hats in the rain and I was I was surprised when I watched it how much I enjoyed it what was that film pretty good I think hello Katzan 12 is that Katzan 12 or Katzan Katzan F2 it's Katzan 12 Katzan 12 uh, welcome to the stream again thanks for joining us I think again I'm pretty sure I've seen your name before could be wrong though. If not, welcome for the first time. I played Detroit on console while on holiday with people from on people on holiday with people with the console. Excuse me, I can't read. I loved it. I know I, me and Kel play them, and um, I think the key is like a lot of games that I really like involve a lot of reading, which is not great for a game that you want to play with somebody and those games just there is some reading in there but it's all peripheral and extra and all of the important stuff is delivered in cutscenes and it's like a little point and click adventure and I love a good point and click not that I've played one in decades but I do remember being so into point and click oh man you wouldn't believe Sam and Max oh yeah um Fate of Atlantis yeah Ooh, yeah I loved it Sorry, <laughs> getting a little carried away there. <clears throat> oh, we've got a Fey Mood. Uh, and I've lost them. No, no, here they are. Look, in the doorway. Let's see what's going on. What shall this Fey Mood deliver us? Come on. It's going to take that Craft Dwarf workshop, which is definitely going to hinder the creation of rock pots. Disappointing, but okay. They're heading out for ingredients. That's a good sign. That means we at least have some of their required items. Oh, they're going to go and get some weird stone. Ah... <sighs> Sure. Walk all the way back, if you must. If you must. Let's have a look at chat while he's doing that. Broken Sword. Yes, good series. Uh, what? Um, my the 
the game I had least expectations for, even though I'd enjoyed the previous instalments in the series, that turned out giving me the best bang for my buck, was Gabriel Knight 3. The 3D one with the whole uh, like Holy Grail um, uh, plotline. Loved it. Absolutely loved that one to bits. Fantastic. Of course, Grim Fandango, that was a great one. Uh, I went back after the fact uh, more recently and played the biker one. What was that called? Full Throttle. That was quite good. When you play them again today, though, they're all incredibly short. Even Day of the Tentacle, which at the time I thought was an absolute epic, is pretty dinky. I mean, you can. I mean, if you know what you're doing, if you vaguely remember like some of the puzzles, you'll bang through it in a matter of minutes. I say minutes. It'll take a while. Oh, the mysterious construction has been begun. Very good. Uh, how are the Wrestle Boys getting on? I'm just going to take a quick glance over to Dwarf Therapist. I won't take you there. Actually, yeah, I will. Go on then. Let's go with Dwarf Therapist and have a look. The Wrestle Boys are currently. Oh, oh, oh! They've all got a, an, a, they've all got a bit of skill. They've all got a bit. The, the leader, of course, Druid's Mead. Uh, that's you, of course. Currently the best. You're a competent wrestler. Everyone else is at best novice or what's two? Show me two. Adequate. Well, adequate's good. I like adequate. So that's nice, isn't it? You're all good. You're also a little bit of a, a spear boy as well. Maybe we give you a spear as a leader. A little special signature weapon for the for the man in charge. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll stick with the uh, just a little a bottle of oil to get yourself ready. Just so you can flex correctly. Um, by the way, if anyone's new in chat and doesn't have a dwarf named after them, now would be an appropriate time to request one. Oh, the, uh, the item's been finished as well. Of course, if you are Orchimedes or... Hang on, let me sort by uh, has nickname. If you're one of these 24, uh, Orchimedes, Adusir, Burnblatt, Buttermut Squash, Dragonfire, Dragonslayer, Druid's Mead, Erin, uh, Furryman, Fuzzy Logic, Clay Cree, Macho, Nato, Ocelot, Panzerbeard, Plutonium Jesus, Rando 303, Salford Cell, Shazoo, Soul Evil, Spaceship Rat, JC Experience, Tidy or Tiroj, there's no point requesting one, you've already got one. Anyone else, if you want one, specify what you want, or you're going to get a random dwarf. There we go. Uh, and if what you don't want is not available, I'll just try and wait for what you want to become available, or give you a random one, if it makes more sense. So, anyway, there we go. Uh, get Out, says Tidy. Do you mean um, the film Get Out? It's quite good, isn't it? Uh, a point and click I loved, says Salford Sal, was Cruise for a Corpse. I remember the name, but was that like um, Heart of China? Do you remember that? Was that a Sierra one? Cruise for a Corpse. It rings the bell. I don't know if I actually got to play it. It might be one of those ones that I always wanted, like King's Quest V. I never got that. Got King's Quest VI. Furryman. I don't think... You, did we see you in that list there? You are very much still alive, Furryman. You're very much alive. Uh, who else have we got here? Uh, Dragon Miners for the win. Uh, can I have a Craft Dwarf to be named Dragon Min? You sure can. I'm just going to copy and paste that from chat for the sake of ease. There we go. Copy. Uh, and you want a Craft Dwarf. Uh, let's start by going to the Labour screen, minimising the nicknames. Go on, goodbye. And go to Stone Crafting first. Well, we've got a level 13 stonecrafter right here. A high master, which means he smokes weed. Oh, oh my goodness. Let's uh, change the name. It's like being a drunken master. Uh, Dragon Min, there you go. Uh, commit. Done. Beautiful, you're in. There's now 25 named dwarves here. Burgendorf, I think you do. I think you do, Burgendorf. No, Burgendorf. You do not. You do not have a dwarf in this fort, so I'll just I'll get down the chat and see if you're uh, in if you specify, and we'll see what's there. Uh, Druid's Mead says I would like shields and one piece of armor each, so they can get levels. Oh, okay, we can handle that. We'll get that. You might need to remind me later on when we're in the thingy, but we'll see. Uh, Katzen says, "Gimme Randy Dwarf Meat Spike." Oh my goodness, how do we is Matt is Randiness a stat we can actually assess? Uh, let's have a look at uh, attributes. Strength, Agility, Toughness, Endurance, Recuperation, Disease Resistance, Analytical Ability, Creativity, Empathy, Focus, Intuition, Kinesthetic Sense, Linguistic Ability, Memory, Musicality, Patience, Social Awareness, Spatial Sense, and Willpower. Mm, not 
I cannot give you an individually specified Randy Dwarf, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and see if we can find who has the best... Actually, let's look at other skills. Is there anything in here? Appraiser, organizer, record keeper, comedian, conversationalist, flatterer, intimidator, judge of intent, liar, negotiator, persuader, concentrator, consoler, leader, observer, pacifist, pacifier, student, teacher, poet, speaker, dancer, musician, singer, keyboardist, stringed instrumentalist, wind instrumentalist, percussionist, wordsmith, writer, critical thinker, logician, mathematician, astronomer, chemist, geographer, Optics engineer, fluid engineer, tracker, crutch walker, swimmer, and climber. Excuse my little boogie pop there. Um, do any of those catch you as a particularly sexually voracious skill set? I mean, I can only... I mean, I'm not going to sit here and peer into the minds of every single dwarf and go, so who's the randiest today? Uh, I'm going to have to ask you to go for a particular a skill or some defining characteristic that I can search on. Uh, we'll... we'll come back to you don't worry let's have a little look down here uh, cruise for a corpse was only 90s murder mystery on a ship for windows 95 well, 3.1 i probably would have played that on a, like a really old 286 with dos if anything because i remember a lot, i just played a lot of dos games back in the day um i wouldn't get on any ship run by windows 95 there probably are a few still out there I meant name a random dwarf. Well, no problem with me. I, and name them Meat Spike. Ah, I get you. I get you. Let's copy that. Copy, copy. Uh, let's go to the labour's full screen. Let's minimise the nicknames. And let's just close my eyes and gently caress the mouse wheel up and down until we land on a random dwarf whose name I could not possibly know in advance. It's it's Raoul, Raoul Zerbdurpador, who is a farmer. Mm, whose nickname is now Meat Spike. Although, feel free to correct me if I've misinterpreted your intentions there. If you want your name on the dwarf, that's fine. We can do that. We can do that. Uh, Manchester's tram system runs on Windows Vista. Whew. Fluid engineer sounds closest. Maybe bodily fluid engineer. Ooh. I'd say flatterer or something like that. Consoler doesn't sound good. If you're Randy and the skill you're using to fulfill those needs is consolation, then uh, you need to take a deep, long look at your life. Um, best crutch walker? Name them. Best crutch walker? Okay, that's it. That's fine. That's fine. We can do that. Although I've already named someone else Meat Spike, but we can do that. Let's do that. Let's look at these other skills. Let's go for a crutch walker. You can tell by the way I walk my crutch, I'm a woman's man. No time to fuck. Damn. That didn't work. Wow. Okay. Um, it's a good job we named somebody else using a different criteria because we have no skilled crush, crush, crutch walkers in our entire fortress. So that was a bit of a bust, wasn't it? Two crutch, one stump. Mm. Uh, you know what? Name the best crutch walker, Kaxta. Katzan. I would. I honestly would, Katzan. But unfortunately, we have hit a sort of null crutch walk situation. A, a deeply crutchless scenario, which is a tragedy, I would say. A deep and sad tragedy. At least nobody has lost their legs. That is true. There is an upside to everything. There is a silver lining to all of the worst things that could possibly happen. There isn't. Some things are just awful. Um, you should make a tavern called Gilded Waterfall and only serve suspicious mead. Mm, I see. It smells like mead. Or it could be that whoever made this has been eating a lot of sugar puffs. Uh, there are mo crutches in this fort. Well, no crutches. As you corrected yourself, I see. Uh, the worst negotiator. Okay, we'll do that then. Let's do that. Let's do that. Where is it? Negotiator. 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 You've ended up with two dwarves in the fortress named under your influence, if not for your name. Well, there's our best one. Scroll down. I'm going to interpret that as the first one to have absolutely no skill, which will be Dodok Fikadan. There we go, Dodok. You are now C-A-T-X-A-N. I'm going to leave off the 12 because you didn't mention it when you asked for the thing. Katzan, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's a Z-X or is it a Katzan? Some kind of insectoid chitter noise. Probably not. Um... So have you experienced the new content yet? Well, Demon Blast, 
very, very briefly. We've got people requesting guild halls, <clears throat> but that's about as far as it's got. It's not got much further than that. It's pronounced Katzan. I was right the first time. Hooray! Well, I think that's everybody who asked for a dwarf. Apologies if I've missed you, but we'll get back round to it. Don't you worry. Let's go back to the fortress and see what we've got here. Zaneg Misustath, the crafts dwarf, has created Akumkat, a diorite mug. She claims it as an heirloom in the name of her family ancestor, Uvash Utter Trumpet. He was an utter trumpet. Let's take a little look at it, shall we? Let's press enter. There we go. Get our list. And we'll look at... Uh, Court goals, a diorite mug. It's not worth a lot. It's a little bit bland. <clears throat> this is a diorite mug. All crafts dwarfship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with rectangular diorite cabochons and decorated with pig leather. This object is adorned with hanging rings of porcupine bone. Ah, huh, it's not too bad. I quite like that. Porcupine bone. It's all good. Nothing to write home about, but, uh, you know... I mean, how many of these artefacts would warrant me writing a letter to my mother? None. I mean, I, th I think she would be a bit peeved if I bothered her with that. She'd be like, oh, my son sent me a letter. I mean, he only take, lives a 10, 15 minute drive away, so it's a bit weird he's done that, but that's lovely, I'll read it. Oh, it's about Dwarf Fortress. I don't even know what Dwarf Fortress is. Burn it. Ah. No, she wouldn't. I'm sure she'd love it. She's not getting one, though, because I'm a horrible son. Uh, let's go back to the lever and fix that up. Add link spike trap. Shh, shh, just let that truth hang in the air like a bad fart. Uh, there we go. Upright spikes, mechanisms, good, good. Add upright spikes. There we go. Mechanisms, fantastic. We've only got one mechanism left, so I'm not gonna like get the embarrassment of going to make one and having it not work. I am gonna check our stockpiles though. Let's take a look at stocks. Go down to bars and 101 steel bars. I feel like we can start creating some of the things we need. Let's check out if they got those maces and hammers done. No. Why? Do we not have enough silver? We should have silver, right? Uh, Z. Stocks. Bar. Bollocks. Do we make them out of steel? Or is silver the superior material? Let's have a little look and see what's going on. Uh, but you could settle near a necromancer tower when uh, this fort inevitably dies. You could, just prior to starting the new version of Dwarf Fortress, I did do a little haunted, no, was it haunted? A little horrible biome in Bark, and um, things did not go swiftly. Let's put it that way. It went quite slowly, but there was a lot of... Um, meat mush raining out of the sky which is not ideal in my mind but you know the dwarves didn't didn't do too badly out of it what have we just zoomed to oh god got a baby just just what we need bloody baby did i uh designate all these to be bedrooms i think i did didn't i yeah yeah about this one nope let's add some doors uh, B, D. I'm going to put some more bedroom doors on, just get them out of the way. And then, hopefully, also spam a few beds down. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Because even though they're not designated as rooms, people can still find the beds and just lay in them. I mean, sure, they're essentially sleeping in what would be, really, a building site. But that's fine. That's fine. People can sleep in building sites. It's not that dangerous. They're dwarves. Have you seen the Mines of Moria? Their day-to-day -day lives are fraught with danger. Handrailless danger. I mean, I would, I would absolutely be useless. I'm so scared of heights. If I was forced to walk through an environment like that, I would just be leaving a trail of shit from the ankle of my trousers. The ankle of my trousers. You know what I mean? Dribbling down my leg. That's what I was getting at. I just said it wrong. Uh, that's all our doors down. Fantastic. How are our military dwarves doing? I'm going to have a little peek at dwarf therapist. I'm not going to take you with me. Just going to take a little look and see if their skills are improving at all. Uh, not, not epically. Although they are getting some pretty serious discipline levels coming up. Bloody hell. Tens and thirteens. That's high. Accomplished discipline and high master discipline. Once again. 
back once again with the level 420. Ah, uh, Necrofires Baby says no fucking booze. You can't give a baby booze. Um, when I talk to my mother, she spends half an hour telling me random shit about neighbours that I've never met. She can listen to my stories of dear dwarf fortress artifacts and like it. Well, oh, you've got a bonus there. That's good. Well done. Um, it's uh, so we've run out of drinks, have we? I think Druid's Mead is is pointing out that there are no drinks available. Uh, Rip says tidy. What? 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 Oh, Vista. Talking about Vista. That's fine. That's fine. Phew. Um, let's pause the action quickly, go to the stocks and see just how bad the booze situation is. I mean, it can't be worse than it was, right? It was zero before. Drinks. No appropriate ingredients. Fucking hell. We've got brewable shit. We need to make barrels. There's really only... That's really the only solution we've got here, right? Make barrels. So into the carpenter's workshop. Gonna go up here. I'm going to say, give me a stockpile. Uh, is a barrel a finished goods thing? Let's have a little look. G, place that there, like that. Um, and then we go and check the actual settings. Go down to the finished goods selection. Um, forbid everything. Keep going down. Uh, chains, flask, goblets, music instruments, toys, armor, footwear, headwear, handwear, figurines, amulets, scepters, crowns, rings. It's not in there. It's not in there. Maybe it is furniture after all. Let's uh, disable that. Go into furniture. There we go. Enable. Yes. Uh, forbid all types. Go and try and find barrels. Barrels. Ballista barrels. There we go. Easy peasy. Very good. Well done, scoundrel. Congratulations. You're very good at Dwarf Fortress. So good at Dwarf Fortress. Incredibly good at Dwarf Fortress. And nobody could possibly deny that you are possibly the best Dwarf Fortress player the world has ever seen. And if you do deny it, then you're a horrible liar. You're a terrible person. Uh, barrels. Wooden barrels. V. Could have used the hotkey, but no, I went the long way around. Mm, nice. Alt W. Yes. Uh, I'd like to add a workflow made of wood, and there we go. This should sort the brewing problem, but we'll see. It's not guaranteed. Nothing, of course, is guaranteed. Certainly not in Dwarf Fortress. It looks like they went in there and made something, and again, another person's gone in to make something. A miner has taken a... Oh, it's gone to get a... Uh... Oh, they put barrels in bins, can they? Interesting. Or do they just automatically put a bin? I think they automatically just put a bin in the stockpile, don't they? Is that how it works? Is that the deal? Although it looks like nobody's making rock pots, which is odd, because we definitely have an order in for it. And we definitely have people who are skilled rock craftspeople. So what's going on there, then, eh? What's happening there? Why? Why? Hmm. Why? They've stopped production on wooden bed. Look, there go some barrels. So they're now available for someone who wants to do some brewing. Let's watch. See if anyone pops up and grabs a barrel. Anybody coming from the brewing area? Anyone going to use some of that sweet, sweet peach we've got to make some peach wine? I do like peach wine. I used to drink it, quite a lot of it, at LARP events. Oh, man. <laughs> A lot. Where are we going? Uh, bum, bum, bum. Bag of Holdings back. Welcome back to the stream. Thanks for joining us. It does look like they can't uh, brew into pots, Druid's Mead. Sad day. Sad day indeed. Oh, Ocelot has to go to sleep. Poor old Ocelot. You get enough sleep there. You Don't don't you keep yourself up too late. This will be recorded and uploaded to YouTube and also available as a VOD on Twitch for a few days after the fact. So don't panic. You're not going to miss anything. I know, right, Salford? The old uh, DF hack workflows? I've only just discovered them, and I don't think I can ever go back. They're amazing. If you have to stockpile to accept barrels or bins, they'll bring one to start. Right, okay. Getcha. I'll getcha. Forget the booze. Make coffins. Oh, no, we're way ahead of you there. Look at this little stockpile. Plenty of coffins. Don't worry. 
Uh, can set how many bins, barrows, etc. the pile should have. Maybe default bins is one. I think so. I think so. I could turn it off actually, couldn't I? I don't need bins in the barrel stockpile. That makes no sense. Uh, that's not how you do it though, is it? You do it like this. You go uh, lowercase c. Bosh. Lovely. Lovely. Did someone just go to get a barrel there? I feel like someone may have just gone to get a barrel there. Let's have a look at our stocks, see if the booze stockpiles have gone up. Whew, look at that, immediately Dwarven Wine back in production. It's time to get boozy. Born to get boozy. Born to get boozy, baby. Let's uh, place some... That's a nest box. Is it just lowercase n for a burial receptacle? Of course it is. Good lad, scoundrel. Get those graves in. Come on, it's graving time. It is going to get our mason back in the workshop again, making more coffins, but that's fine. You know, get plenty lined up. Get one for everybody, just to make sure they're preordained. Um, please ensure all new booze types are forbidden from cooking. I will, he says. Not 100% guaranteeing it, just more of a statement of intent rather than a promise of factual outcome. But I will uh, try it. Let's go and see if there's anything else that's been brewed, just quickly. Just quickly. Oh, sad per cider. There we go. No more cooking. Lovely. That graveyard's getting done. That's nice. It's nice. The surface is still looking okay. Our dwarves are training. We still don't have any silver. Loads of this shit's been left hanging around here in the trade depot for no apparent reason. Why? Why? Bismuth bronze shield, llama blood barrel. Why have we got a llama blood barrel? Did, I, did that get left behind? Where does a lava blood barrel even end up going? A clear glass mishak. Oh god, we've got musical instruments. Bismuth bronze battle axe, wombat leather quiver, fire clay, bronze left gauntlet, quartzite. That's, the, that's just a lump of rock. That's nothing exciting. Hazelwood chest, billion scepter, yellow sandbag. We could get our glass industry started, I suppose. I could also dismantle this uh, trade depot just to get everything sort of shuffled to one side. <clears throat> then again, maybe not. Let's go back down to the food hall, see if we can get some more traps linked up to this spike lever. Capital S, upright spikes. Yeah, baby, two more. Add spikes, upright spikes. There we go, bingo. Not far now, and we'll have all of those linked up to the one lever, and it's going to be fantastic. Right, we wanted one piece of armour for each of our wrestlers. Um, let's start putting in orders for amounts of stuff. Before we give the wrestlers stuff, I want to give a full suit of armour to each of my little lads here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start with helms. I'm going to make 10 helms. In fact, actually, let's make 20 helms. Kill two birds with one stone. Bang. Everyone gets a helm in the wrestling squad. They'll look cool. It won't obscure their glistening pecs. And uh, actually, a lot of them are women, so they're going to have oily boobies, which just the phrase sends a shiver down my spine. Oh, oh. hello. Um, let's, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, oh. let's uh, go into our orders screen there we go and let's order up a helm in fact let's not let's, let's order up a steel helmet there we go forged steel helms i want 20 of those bad boys please quick as you can quick as you like governor and that should be good uh everyone in there's got an armor stand so that's fine um hmm Did a trader die in my fortress? Yes, we had someone die when a um, a child weird beast came in, and uh, they got they got. Oh, actually, I don't think they died. They just got attacked and they abandoned all their shit, killed the thing, and then wandered off, which is nice. Dwarves don't get embalmed; they get engraved. That's very true. 
Large rock pots can be used for brewing. Ah, it's interesting. I didn't... Well, then why didn't that work? They must have not been making them. That's what it is, even though we've got craft dwarves. Ah, is it possible that my craft dwarves are actually in one of the militaries? Not all of them, surely. Let me have a look at my stone crafters. No! Dragon Min. You're a level 13 stone crafter. Mind you, you have other jobs activated, such as wood crafting? No. Diagnosis? Very rusty skill, but still it's there. None of these other skills will be stuff you're doing, right? I'm going to start turning off hauling for our craft dwarfs, right? That, that makes sense, doesn't it? Commit. Let's see if rock pots start getting created. Uh, right, what was I doing before I got distracted looking at Dwarf Therapist? Um, llama blood. Llama blood is for making menacing, menacing beard spikes. Oh, so you just put it in the beard and let it dry? Is that how it works? Ooh. Helms is the most important thing. When they go down in combat, the enemy get free auto headshots. Ah, okay, that's a pretty good idea then. We'll get the uh, we'll get the old um, helms on, and everybody can protect their noggins. Wheelbarrows will speed up the hauling of stone. That's true. I think what would heal up, sorry, speed up the hauling of stone would be an empty stockpile and or like a faster rate of use. Oh, let's start using planning mode to whack some doors in and some beds in, yeah? That actually sounds like a pretty decent idea. I can't believe I had it. First of all, I'm gonna use up our stocks that we have. There we go. Let's start doing these. And I'm only gonna designate the uh, completed rows because it makes a lot of sense to do this shit. Okay, so Alt P. No? Oh, hello, that opens up. <laughs> that's a Windows hotkey. Uh, so is it D? No, that's S. D. And then Alt P for planning mode. Alt P. That's show planning mode. Show priorities. Enter, designate, escape. Someone's got to put it in chat, right? Uh, yeah, the grazing pets. I mean, people who bring grazing animals to this fortress as pets are fools in my mind. Well, they get exactly what they deserve. Do you have uh, second and third of common workshops like Brewing, Mason, Craftsdorf? Only one of those is not enough to get it all done. I do not, however, that can be quite quickly remedied. Shouldn't take too long. Excuse me. Bloody hell. Outrageous. Back, on, back into the old fart mask. I do apologise if it muffles my voice. Um... It was something P, wasn't it? Build bed P before placing bed. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, build bed capital P. Here we go. Lovely. Excellent. Uh, and then we can just start placing beds, I presume. Let's find ourselves the end of this row. There we go. Give me building present. Oh, and it's oh, hit, and oh my god, what a time saver! This is gonna burn through wood pretty rapidly, but I'm quite chuffed about it. Can we use the mouse? Oh, look at this! Oh, my favourite Swerwer track, this banging tune. And now, oh, glorious, infinite bed placement. This feels pretty damn good, I don't mind saying. It's probably peak Dwarf Fortress moment right here. Four, look at this. Yeah, baby. Oh, oh no! Oh, it, had, it couldn't last. It couldn't go on forever. Still, we can, we can come back and change that one. It's very glaringly and obviously out of position, so it won't be a problem to spot it later on, he says, noting that it's on the third corridor up. Come on. Blimey. Think about how long this would have taken without unlocking gorgeous, beautiful planning mode. It's going to have taken years. Decades. Centuries. Hell, let's just get really outlandish. Millennia. Eons. Um, oh, I've done two. Right, that's it. Out of planning mode. Let's get rid of these first. Uh, 
Remove building. That did work, didn't it? It did work. What about this lad? Remove. Good. So build bed. Capital P. Ah, we're back in business. The boys are back in business. No, 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 no. Build bed. Capital P. Planning mode on. Lovely. Lovely. That's how it's done. Well done, scoundrel. Congratulations. High levels of success being experienced all round. Audience reaching maximum satisfaction. Oh, yes. Thoroughly satisfied. Uh, we're getting there. <laughs> Actually, I doubt maximum levels of satisfaction are reaching, being reached. We're probably reaching maximum levels of tedium right now. You're all sitting there thinking, for fuck's sake, scoundrel, this is as boring as boring can be. Why don't you stop? Do something more interesting. Look at chat. See what we're saying. We've got all sorts of interesting things coming out of our fingers into our keyboards and being transmitted through the internet to potentially your eyes. Pay attention, scoundrel, please. Look at the... Notice me, senpai, as they say in the old Tokyo. We're getting there. Don't worry, I'll be looking at chat in a minute. I'll get there. I'm just kind of... I'm all agog at the pace we're actually getting these beds placed. I say placed, they're not actually there, but it's so pleasant just to be able to keep going and not having to worry about running out of actual physically constructed finished beds. I wonder if it will place them all in the order that I'd put the clicks in. That would be kind of nice, because it would make it much simpler to designate the rooms once we're done, but I have a horrible feeling they're just going to whack them as to the closest one first, right? Ta-da! Oh, I got it wrong. I put a bed in the wrong place. Let's just... Fuck it, let's just go crazy. Let's be wild, man. Let's just put beds in all over the shop. Not even do one row at a time. Just place it efficiently for speed rather than symmetry. And what am I doing? There was no symmetry involved in what I was doing earlier. Just using random words now. Ever since I learned that oeuvre was uh, open, not the combined body of, body of work of a person, uh, it's all changed. My mind has become a, a swirling vortex of possibility. Words no longer mean what I thought they meant. There is a word that sounds like oeuvre or oeuvre to describe someone's canon. Uh, dare I use that word? Is that even is that even a suitable word to describe what I mean? There we go. Now we can remove the wonky one. Removing the wonky bed, please. That's what I want you to do. Uh, oh, playing mode still on. That's good. Where did I take it away from? Shit. I didn't remove it at all. Okay, I'll place a new one there. Come out. X. Kabosh. Done. Then we need to put the doors in. But we'll do that in a bit. We'll let the beds get placed. And then we'll go, oh, you know what? Maybe I should do the doors. Let's look at chat first. I'll, I'll get doors ready. Build doors. Planning mode on. And then we'll find the place where the doors haven't been placed yet. There we go. I'll have a look at chat and then we'll start doing it properly. Ba -da -ba -ba. I think you can blueprint a finished room and copy paste that with DF hack. Planning mode is sticky per item. Hmm. I am liking planning mode Dragonfire. It's very good. It's very good. Oh, I can do the door and the thing in one click says, or suggests tidy. We'll see. I missed a bed! And Kat Katzan has sent a message in chat. Thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, I missed a bed or two. Oh no. I wonder what the room build boulders spell in Braille. Who knows? We'll have to find somebody who's blind to finger my bedrooms. Then they'll know. Then they'll know. Uh, just go watch. Turn off your TV and go out and do something else more interesting instead. Isn't that the interesting to the intro to Why Don't You? I had a. a, a a great infatuation with a character on Why Don't You called Ben, who was a mad scientist. And uh, I remember him being summoned to the Why Don't You house by means of a phone box. I wanted to be him. I wanted to grow up to be him, even though he was like, what, a year or two older than me? Ah, oh, dear. Tune not permanently burned into brain at all. Uh, redeemed. Highlight my message, says Clay Cree. Bed. Mm. 
Mm, beginning my commute home will be in listen mode. That's fine, Dragonfire. To be fair, you're probably just going to be missing me placing a lot of doors. Uh, right, that row is full. This row here, full. This row here. Looking full, this row here. Looking full. Yep. Yeah. This row here. Oh, oh, I spotted one. I spotted one. Very good, very good. Uh, bed. There we go, there's a bed. Any more? Any more undesignated spaces where a bed should be? Come on. Yield unto me your secrets, fortress of mine. Show me what I need to see. Excuse me. More burping. Just to accent the farts. I think that's it. Just one bed? Just one bed. I think we did it right. Okay, that's good. Door. Uh, we're still in... Uh, What's his name mode? Let's get those doors in from here. There we go. Probably should use the mouse again. Um, Salford Tell says, I can read Braille. Point me out a room and I'll tell you. I had a blind grandmother. She taught me. Goodness, Salford Tell, is there any aspect of your life that isn't interesting? Blind grandmother, legal knowledge. I mean, I, I, they, when I say that, it just doesn't sound as interesting. <laughs> it just doesn't sound as interesting at all. What does this say? Let's have a look. We've got this this little string of rooms here. have got little things in. Have a little look at that. Have a little peek at these. What do you reckon? The beds don't count. It's just the little bits of stone in there. Have a little look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten letter word. Are there any words in there? It doesn't have to be one long ten letter word. Who knows? Who knows? Hello, what's that? Tidy? Triggered? It's got someone doing the worm in there. How the hell did you do? Is that an emote? That's the most incredible animated emote I've ever seen. It's definitely xylophones. Very good, xylophones. I'm rubbish at countdown. Hello, Petrovsky. Uh, wello, wello there. Well, hello, hello to you too. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us again. Again? For the first time. I think. I think. I'm not sure. Pretty sure I'd remember your name. But I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Uh, two up from the one you placed. Oh, tidy. <laughs> Where would that be? I still missed a bed. Fuck. Okay, right, okay. Let's, let's zoom out. Let's see if we can spot it on the zoom out. Because there should be a missing... Right there! Holy shit, that worked well, didn't it? Let's, where'd my mouse pointer go? Let's zoom in. I've lost it again. There it is. Bed. Bosh. Done. Is that it? Are we good? Did we find it? Top left four rows down. That was probably it, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah. I think we got it. I think we've got it, guys. I think we've done it. We're doing really well. Congratulations, me. Okay, let's get these bad boys in as quick as we can. I'll move the, the... Come on. Move it down a bit so the mouse designation will work. Huh? Okay, apparently it requires a double click to place a door. That's fine though. I can deal with that. There we go. Lovely. Lots of doors going in, nice and quick, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, as the old adage goes. Oh, no, I've muffed it. I put a door in the corridor. Or did I? No, maybe not. Looks like it didn't go in. Lovely. Just when you need a misclick, you misclick. Maybe that's a sign of turning luck. Maybe I'm going to be... Feeling better in the near future. That would be good, wouldn't it? 
That'd be good, get all the old uh, dental problems and horrible infections sorted, that'd be good. That'd be very nice. It's weird how everything happens at once. You quit smoking and then suddenly bang. <laughs> Why not have all of these other wind-up things happen at the same time? Seems sensible, right? Yeah. Nope, oh, hello. Can't park one there. There we go. Keep going. Come on, scoundrel. You can you can do this. You can endure the oh, so we go. You can endure and persevere. You can get all these doors placed. No doubt I've missed another couple and everybody's wildly triggered again. But it's all good. It's all good. As long as we, oh, da, 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 there we go. So we follow a decent little pattern. Should be able to get it all in. No problem. You know that horror game I mentioned earlier in the old Discord? I am sorely tempted by that. I'm, whoa, figgins. I might pick it up. I'm not 100% on it, but it's only like a tenner or so, so it's not, it's not mad expensive. Oh, don't place... It's a good... Actually, not being able to place doors in open space is good. I like it. I like the fact that my uh, misclicks are just ignored. Placing beds, on the other hand, slightly more frustrating. Placing doors is where it's at. I need to zoom in in a minute because my eyes are starting to go funny looking at it this small. Either that or I need to lean in close to the... Uh, close to the screen which will result in me being far too close to the microphone and leaving it spiked in the red for the entire thing which to be honest may be happening now yeah it's happening quite a bit am i am i too loud how's the sound levels anybody got an opinion on that probably the stupidest thing i ever said never ask people's opinions on the sound levels you'll have a never-ending torrent of conflicting opinions it needs to go up a bit it needs to go down a bit no up no down um, because that's exactly how people talk on the internet they all have that voice it's weird i know very strange just one of those things though isn't it i'm gonna need to get myself a drink in a minute i'm starting to feel a little bit parched i could probably do with a coffee to perk me up a bit when did i have my last set of painkillers it was half past 10 so the next lot i can have about half past two in the morning. Okay, maybe that's a little late. <laughs> I should be winding down at that point, but we'll see. We'll see. Not that I need them right now. Not that I need them. It's all right. It's fine. I can endure it. I'll persevere. Whoa there. Come on, Scoundrel. You can do this. Get the last few doors placed, and then the bedroom level will be almost complete. You'll just need to designate each individual bed as a room. Wouldn't that be lovely? If only you could have that happen automatically. That would be super nice. Oh. Those of you of a more sensitive disposition may wish to mute the microphone momentarily. Oh, no, it wasn't loud enough to be heard. Don't worry. Just a little just a little silent gust. He says wearing headphones, so it may well have made a noise. I could have made a whistle for all I know. Can't really hear the room. Ah, uh, there we go. By the way, I know people are real keen for it, but when the traders come, there will be no musical instruments this stream. I have been told. <laughs> I may have uh, woken up family members last time with my uh, attempts to recreate the bass end of a glass harpsichord. So, there you go. That's uh, a temporary embargo on musical instruments. Bang! Look at that, we've done it! Oh fuck, there's a whole row. <sighs> Here we go. It's probably a sigh of relief being breathed in chat right now. Someone going, oh, thank God he noticed it. I was losing my mind. There we go. Come on, put all these doors in. There we go. Come on. There we go. That's it. Last door. Yes, last door. Doesn't matter if it's not. We're zooming back in. Oh, God, that's a little bit easier to... Oh, there we go. Thank God for that. Back up to the surface. Let's let things unfold for a bit. Let's have a look at chat, see what's going on. Uh, Petrovsk, Pe Petrovsky, Petrovsky. Tell me if I've got that wrong, but let me know. Uh, why can you use mouse? I thought DF didn't have mouse functionality. Well, if you use the lazy noob pack, it has DF hack installed. Uh, oh, look at that, save, timing. Uh, it has DF hack installed and it activates some uh, commands. Although I see that chat has already filled you in on that, so. This is redundant, me telling you about it, but hey, give it a crack. DF hack is good. 
It's uh, and well, actually, uh, the lazy noob pack is fantastic. It just makes it so much easier to get into Dwarf Fortress. Let's unpause that. The save's finished. Uh, bound to piss off all the deaf stream watchers with this conversation, probably. <laughs> Talking about sound levels. Um, Hello, YouTube says Druid's Mead. Oh, sorry, sorry. Druid's Mead was saying awful things about YouTube. Of course, I mean you should you should stop that, Druid's Mead. It's so rude, so bloody rude. I mean, they're people too, you know. They're human beings. Treat them as such. Um, no musical instruments. Oh, sorry, Tidy. They will be down the line. Don't worry. But it's just not right now. Um, what else have we got? Uh, ba -ba. I got the line. Yeah, I caught them. Don't worry, I got the line of doors. Um, <clears throat> maybe we'll try a few musical instruments, but we'll see. We'll see. Because uh, my throat's not feeling its best. And I got into a bit of naughty trouble last time. <laughs> uh, this looks like a job for the built-in macro recording feature. Well, bag of holding. I've only just started to get to grips with planning mode. Let's not go too wild. <laughs> let, let me make it a learning curve a slow gentle slope not a wall my goodness uh can you show me around your fortress please uh yeah sure no problem uh let's do a little refresh of what's going on in fact how long have i been recording for you know what i've been recording for an hour and 45 minutes so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stop the youtube recording i'm gonna do a little tour of the fortress that i'm not recording because we did one of those at the beginning of the video and then i'm gonna take a quick break and then when i come back We'll start again. How's that sound? So, YouTubers, thank you for watching. I won't put you through another tour of the fortress. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye, he says.